Yo, and what is up with y'all? It's me, Arakai. And have you guys ever made a build and wondered what enchant would actually suit your build the best? Well, in today's video, I want to go over every single weapon class in the game and actually like designate a specific enchant to each weapon type. But yeah, enough talking, let's get right into the video. Now starting off, we got swords. Now swords are extremely versatile and therefore I can't really give them a specific enchant to actually use. So I'm gonna pick all the end game weapons and designate them a specific enchant. Now starting off with Shattered Katana, the best enchant for this weapon is actually Tears of Edenkite as he can do insane amount of damage with just landing a single crit. Now next up we got Purple Cloud. Now I'd also recommend Tears of Edenkite for Purple Cloud as the same reason for Shattered Katana. Now next up we got Champion Sword and Warden Ceremonial Sword. Now these swords are widely known for actually having a very low medium requirement and good stats. Now for these weapons, I'd recommend using Providence Forms as it's very good for power trade since your weapon is also very fast. Now moving on to spears, there's not really a lot of diversity here so this one will be pretty quick. Now the best spear as recording this is the true Sir spear with some very good stats and a lot of chip damage. Now the best enchant for spears is either detonation or yonshul. Allow me to explain. Now the spear has a multi-part critical which actually is very good for procking either yonshul or detonation which makes it so much better than on a regular sword or anything else. Now moving on to daggers, the best dagger in the game right now is the Cerulean Frit with a crazy amount of pin and damage. Now for the best enchant, I'd recommend Obfuscation. Now the reason for this is, with a dagger, you're gonna be applying a lot of pressure and your enemy is going to be holding block a lot against you and that extra chip damage is going to be adding up a ton in that fight, trust me. Now for fists. Now there's three different fist styles in the game, but I'll only be going over just Karita and Wave Neve, since Legion Kata and Wave Neve is pretty much the same. Now fists have extremely weird and fast in ones, therefore I feel like the best enchant would be Blazing. Now hear me out, even though you are in Flame Charm, Blazing is still extremely good because of the fact that even if you hit them, they are forced to roll, or they will take a lot, a lot of damage. Now so this will add up a lot over time, as like almost every time you hit them, they'll basically get set on fire. Now moving on to Rapier, Rapier is kinda like Spears where it has a multi-hitting critical, therefore I'd recommend using either Detonation, Grim, or Yunshell. Now all of these things are very good, but I feel like Grim is probably the worst option, but it is pretty cool to use if you're using a lot of mantras and stuff like that, so yeah. Now moving on to the heavy weapons, the first weapon here is the Great Axe. Now on the Great Axe, I'd recommend using something like Obfuscation or Detonation. That would like greatly increase your damage. Now if you didn't know, Detonation actually does true damage, which means if they actually get hit by like one of the lucky hits where you actually detonate them, they will take a lot of damage. It could be like up to a bar. Now moving on to the last weapon class on this list, we got Great Swords. Now Great Swords are extremely good for many reasons. Not only do they have very busted talents, but they also have very well rounded stats. Now there's a few different Great Swords in the game, so I'll be going over like a couple of them. Now starting off with the Curse Cleave. Now if you're gonna use the Curse Cleave, I'd recommend using Nemesis and like some good rectal moves such as Dawnwalker or maybe even Flame Charm. Now I've seen some very nice combos with this and I'd definitely recommend you guys try this out. Now if you don't want to use the Curse Cleave, you could also use the First Light since that is also a very good great sword with some custom animations and a cool crit. Now if you're gonna use this weapon, I'd recommend using something like Stone or like Storm or like something that stuns them a bit or like gives you some more chance to hit those uh, critical off, you know. Now that is pretty much it for the video, but I am going to release a Spear Guild build really soon, so if you guys do want to see that, please do stay tuned and maybe hit that subscribe button. But uh, yeah, you guys have a great day.